Hello, welcome to our mini lesson on the area of prisms. We're going to be talking specifically about triangular and rectangular prisms, but the principles in this can be extended to any prism. So let's take a look at it. The basic big idea is that to find the area of a prism, first you find the area of the base. It may be rectangular, triangular, or otherwise. Then you multiply the area of the base times the height. Let's go ahead and look at some examples. First example, a rectangular prism. First of all, to find the volume of this prism, we need to find the area of the base. For this, I've used this darker section here as the base. All right. And so what I'm going to do is to find the base, I'm going to do the length times the width. Or in other words, I'm going to multiply 2 times 3, and that gives me 6 centimeters squared. That is the area of this darkened section here. And that's going to be our base. So now that i found the area of the base, to find the volume of this prism, I need to multiply that area of 6 centimeters squared times the height. And in this case, the height's going to be 15 centimeters. It doesn't really matter um, with the rectangular prism. I could use this as my base, this here, and then use 3 as my height. I could have done it that way. Um, or I could have used this here as my base. It really doesn't matter. I just picked this one here. Um, arbitrarily, you can choose whichever side you want as the base with a rectangular prism. Anyway, we're going to multiply the area of the base, which is 6 and a half times, whoop, times the height, which is 15, and 6 centimeters squared times 15 centimeters will give us 90 centimeters cubed. All right. So that's going to be our volume. That's with our first shape. With the next shape we're going to look at, it'll be a triangular prism. With a triangular prism, it is important that we find what the base is. All right, whatever the base is, we just need to know that that's going to be consistent throughout the entire shape. All right, and in this case, the triangle is consistent. It goes straight through to the top. So if we find the area of this triangle, and then we multiply that times the height, we'll be able to find the area, or the volume, I'm sorry, of this triangular prism. So let's start out by finding the area of the base. The area of this triangle is going to be half of the base times the height. That's the area for a triangle, formula for the area of a triangle. Our base, in this case, is six inch, or two inches, and then our height is six inches. We'll substitute that into the equation and solve 2 times 6 is 12, half of 12 is 6. So we have 6 inches squared as our area for this triangle. We have our area. We're going to multiply the area of the base times our height, which in this case is 8 inches. And 6 inches squared times 8 inches will give us a volume of 48 inches cubed. That's going to be the volume of this triangular prism. In a lot of ways, um, this, is, this is kind of a nice thing to do, because we can look at it and say, I need to find the area of that, and just multiply it times the base, and that's, or the height. And that's going to be what we use every single time, no matter what the prism, you find the area of the base, and then you multiply that area times the height. All right. So if it's triangular, if it's a cylinder, or if it's a rectangular prism, or if it's an octagon, or a trapezoid, or a parallelogram, whatever it is, you will find the area of the base, and then multiply that times the height. I hope that that one's been helpful for you. Now you're ready to go and conquer the world of volume of prisms. Have a great day.